kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcasts at a kids company about. We are so glad you're listening to this show, and I wanted to let you know that we've got an entire network of podcasts dedicated to producing original content that talks up to kids, centers the things going on in their world, and engages and challenges how they see the world and themselves. With shows about facts, climate justice, current events, and activism, there's a show out there made just for your kid. Check out the A Kids Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Hi, I'm Nikita Simpson. And I'm Dr. Anne Louise Lockhart. I wrote a kids' book called A Kids' Book About Emotions. And I help kids and grown-ups work through their emotions. And now we're making a podcast about them. This is Everyday Feels, a podcast about emotions for kids and their grown-ups. This podcast is better together. Listen with a grown-up, with a family member, with a class, or with a friend. How are you feeling today, Dr. Lockhart? I'm feeling really excited today because my daughter is playing in her first concert. I'm feeling really proud of her for learning to play her her instrument so well. Really, really proud of her. So how about you, Nikita? How are you feeling today? Oh, that's so exciting. Um, Honestly, I'm feeling pretty happy because we get to talk about one of my favorite emotions today. Thanks for sharing. I love talking about certain emotions more than others as well, too. Oh, you're welcome, Dr. Lockhart. And thank you for that, too. Thinking about this episode, do you find it easy or hard to find things to be happy about every day? You know, I actually find it pretty easy. I'm generally a pretty happy and joyful person. I tend to see the good things, people, and experiences, even in movies. Like I'll be watching a really bad movie and I'll just continue to watch it because it might get better. So I would say I'm pretty hopeful and optimistic. Ooh, well, let's see if we can find more ways to be optimistic and understand a little bit more about what it means to find happiness in the big and little things. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think it's time we heard from Elena from Pasadena, California, who has so much to share about the things that make her happy. Elena is eight years old. Let's listen together. eight years old and I live in Pasadena, California. Hi, Elena. Can you tell me who is in your family? David, Christian, my mom and my dad. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Now, we're going to talk about feelings. Do you know what feelings are? Emotions that you feel. Emotions that you feel. Now, can you think of one emotion that you want to talk about today? Happiness. Happiness. That's a great emotion. Can you tell me what makes you feel happiness? Uh, when I get to go somewhere. Okay, what else? When I hang out with my family. When you hang out with your family, that's great. And what are some other experiences that you like to do with your family that makes you happy? Um, go on trips. That's amazing. All right, thanks for sharing. Bye. Thank you. This is Everyday Feels. Thanks so much for sharing your story, Elena. I think this was such a fabulous story to kind of really talk about this particular topic and this particular emotion that we're talking about today. I agree, Dr. Lockhart. I can't wait to talk more about it. But first, listeners, this feels like the perfect time to take a short break. Let's move our heads from side to side and wiggle our toes a bit. And when we come back, we'll talk more about joy and happiness. We'll even give you listeners a chance to share a memory and listen as others around you share their memories too. We'll continue after a short break. Hey. 
Hey kids, my name's Matthew. I'm a teacher, a librarian, and I'm the host of A Kid's Book About, the podcast. What's a podcast? Great question. A podcast is a show that you listen to, usually on a smartphone or really any device that connects to the internet. You might even be listening to a podcast right now when you're hearing this ad. And at A Kid's Book About, we talk about the big things going on in your world. Every week we chat with authors from our award-winning A Kid's Book About series. A Kid's Book About what? Well, everything. Racism, disabilities, belonging, diversity. What about anxiety? Absolutely. Anything that's important to you is worth talking about. These are the things that are shaping your world, and our guests are people who've been there too. New episodes release every Monday. Find a kid's book about the podcast wherever podcasts are found. The news can be heavy. World events can be confusing. But no one should miss out on history as it's being made. It's not always easy to know how to talk about what's going on in the world or even to know where to start. Introducing Worth Noting, a kid's podcast about current events. Join me each week for a look at what's going on in the world and how it impacts you and others. From scientific breakthroughs to historic achievements, from political upheaval to social justice. The more we understand the history that's taking place in front of our eyes, the better we can see where we stand in it. My name's Matthew, and this is Worth Noting. Welcome back to Everyday Feels. We just listened to Elena, who shared with us all of the things in her life that make her feel happy and how great of an emotion it is. That was a really great story. Thanks for sharing, Elena. I think it's so important to remember or to know, if you're hearing this for the first time, that our feelings are really our friends. But we tend to be very good friends with joy and happiness. Most of us really like that one. I'm glad you brought that up, Dr. Lockhart. I always love talking about happiness and things that make me very happy. Now, are there other words that better describe when you feel very happy? Yes, that's a great question, Nikita. Now, there are definitely words we can use to describe feeling happy or very happy. These are called synonyms. These include words such as joy, excitement, contentment, optimistic, hopeful, proud, capable, and grateful. I didn't realize there were so many ways to describe feeling very happy. My favorite word for sure is joy. Oh, I love that word too. Uh, I especially also love the word contentment because it means to feel joyful regardless of my circumstances. So even when things aren't going my way, contentment helps me to look forward to when they are. Uh, That actually is a really great word. I might have a new favorite too. Thank you so much for sharing that, Dr. Lockhart. Learning how to identify happiness in my life every day is such a special and helpful skill. I remember when I was frustrated with a day filled with one bad thing after another. I did some meditation to try to calm down, and I had to ground myself and find one thing to try to cheer me up, which was having a really yummy breakfast. I still use that memory to remember that I can find small or big things every day to be happy about, even when my days feel really hard. You know, you and I both seem to find joy in good food. I love that. And I find excitement in watching like a good action or superhero movie, meeting amazing people such as yourself, and a super cute hairstyle. I remember when I tried crochet braids the first time and I was like, where has this hairstyle been all my life? So I was full of joy and excitement. Oh, I love that excitement and that hairstyle on you, Dr. Lockhart. You know what I think we should do? Why don't we give everyone listening the opportunity to share a memory with whomever they may be listening with? Maybe that's a teacher or a friend, a cousin or a sibling, a parent or a grown-up you trust. And if you're listening by yourself, you can say the memory out loud or just think it to yourself. I think that's a great idea, Nikita. So think about a time you experienced joy or happiness. 
share that memory. Remember all the things that made you so happy. You can write it down, play it out, draw, and just share it with your grown up. And if you're a grown up and listening with your kid, take this time to listen, give them the space, maybe even share your own story. There's no need to provide advice, just listen for now. We'll give you more specific tools in a bit. Listeners, it's that time. Here's where you can pause the podcast and share your memory with whomever you're listening with. Take as much time as you need. Dr. Lockhart and I will be waiting right here for you when you're ready to come back. Welcome back to Everyday Feels. We hope you had the opportunity to share by yourself or with a grown up about a time you felt joy. Oh, Dr. Lockhart, before we wrap up, are there any tools on finding happiness in our everyday life so we can experience more joy? Absolutely, Nikita. I have a quick reminder and two really helpful tips. Always remember your feelings are not your enemy. Your feelings give you messages about other people and the world around you. So just embrace those feelings, even the icky or uncomfortable ones. I know it's hard, but it's such an important part of the process. First, keep a journal and write down one or two sentences about one thing you were grateful for that day. If you don't like to write, you could even record it on a video. That way, when you have days that weren't all that great, you can always look back and remember that not every day is crummy. There are good days too. Second, share that joy with a friend, a family member, or a teacher. There are so many people who are struggling. Sharing a smile, a funny story, a thank you, or a kind note can go a long way in spreading that joy. You can even share this episode with someone who might need it. Once again... Thank you, Elena from Pasadena, California, for sharing your happy memories with all of us. We're so glad you had so many happy things to share. And thank you, Dr. Lockhart, for letting us remember and understand that joy is contagious and we can find ways to share it every day. Of course, Nikita. You know, so many adults grew up not talking about feelings and it is now time for us to change that story. I'm so glad you listeners are here with us. If you want professional help and need to talk to someone about how you feel, you can find a therapist online by typing child psychologist near me. You can look up all the different professionals in your area. That's a really great place to start. Listeners, this is our final episode of Everyday Feels for this season. We've loved getting to share these memories from our listeners with all of you. And we are so grateful for the time we've had together with you over these episodes. We invite you to return to past episodes whenever you feel you need to. That's what they're there for. And we'll be there for you when you return as well. And remember, you are the expert on your emotions. Emotions are really your friend. And you're always allowed to feel what you feel. Let's continue this journey together. Thank you for joining us today. You can find out more about Dr. Lockhart and her practice online at anewdaysa.com and on Instagram at dr.annelouise.lockhart. You can find my book, A Kid's Book About Emotions, and other kids' books about important topics at akidsco.com. Everyday Feels is written by Nikita Simpson and Dr. Anne Louise Lockhart. Our show is edited and produced by Ari Maffei with help from Matthew Winner. Sound design is by Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. If there's an emotion you want to share for us to explore, send us a note at listen at akidspodcastabout.com and check out other podcasts made for kids just like you by visiting akidsco.com. Until next season, y'all. Bye for now.
Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcast at a kid's company about. We hope you enjoyed this show, and we'd love for you to check out our growing library of shows at a kid's podcast about. Whether you're looking for storytelling with crafts and activities, fact-finding with experts and enthusiasts, or looking to explore and understand your world better, we have got a podcast for you. Check out the A Kids Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Akidsco.com